Hello guys, this is a medical library video for you. Topic is rectal surgery anatomy. Let's begin. Rectum is 15 to 80 centimeters in length. Rectum starts at recto sigmoidal junction opposite to the S3 and descend down to the pelvic floor and ends at anorectal junction which is 4 centimeters away from the anal wedge. Anorectal junction is enclosed by puborectus muscle posteriorly and in lateral accepts. Let's see the peritoneal coverage of the rectum. Upper one third is completely covered whereas middle one third is partially covered and lower one third is no peritoneum is present but has two facial fascia there are valdemar layer and also de novo fascia the valdemar fascia is separates the rectum from the lower sacral vertebrae whereas de novo fascia separate posterior and bladder the clip stripping of the seri this fascia can lead to the hemorrhages Let's see the valve of Ashton's. Rectum is never straight in the adult. It has one concity on the left and two concity on the right. Three valves of Ashton's. Let's see the arterial supplied to the rectum. It has three arteries. Superior hemorrhoid artery, middle hemorrhoid artery and inferior, inferior rectal artery. Superior hemorrhoid artery is a branch of superior rectal artery and continuation of inferior mesenteric artery. Middle hemorrhoid artery is a branch of internal iliac artery. Whereas inferior rectal artery is a branch of internal pudendal artery. Venous system. Venous system is of two directions and upward is drained into the superior rectal veins, then into the inferior mesenteric vein, then into the portal system. Across it drains into the media, middle rectal vein and then into the internal iliac veins. Let's see the limb system. Upper one third and middle one third of the rectum is in limb drain in the upward direction. Whereas lower one third is drained into the lateral direction. This is impact nervous system. Hypo hypogastric flux is located in the arctic bi bifurcation at L5. Injury can cause the absence of dry orgasm. Parasitic system S2 and S3 and S4 are the motor fibers supplied to the detrusors. Gases and stools can be distinguished by these nerves. Loss of the nerve leads to the sensation. I hope this video helps you. Please like, share, and subscribe.